Hey guys, it's Amanda. So I have this tutorial for you guys on my friend Ashley. She's going to be a mermaid for Halloween, so I decided to do this mermaid tutorial on her. Um, so yeah, I know some of you guys won't like it better when I do the tutorials on myself. So don't worry, um, the rest of my Halloween tutorials will be on myself. But um, yeah, I have one that's already recorded that I just need to edit. Um, but I don't want to upload it yet because I'm not quite sure if I really really like it but yeah so um I hope you guys enjoy this um I'm doing this on my friend Ashley if I haven't if I didn't say that already so yeah um hope you guys enjoy this and thank you so so much for watching let's get started Woo. I'm using the 88 color palette for this tutorial to start off I'm using two different colors that is a lighter teal and then a darker teal I'm mixing them together on a blush brush and I'm applying that around the side of her face um, just from her forehead down to her contour line <laughs> um, so you just kind of have to play around and mix with some different colors to get the color you want kind of matches my wall behind it then I'm taking just a dark teal color and I'm intensely contouring um, her cheekbones like that you can't really see it yet um, here it comes there we go so you just want to contour really deeply then I'm using a silverish bluish color I know it's kind of hard to dupe these colors because I'm really just mixing colors together and I'm highlighting so if you have this palette that I'm using then just play around with the colors that you want it, you can coordinate it with your outfit what you're wearing um, I'm just using that as a highlight then I'm taking the Stila Prime Pot in Caramel and I'm applying that all the way up from her lid to her eyebrow. You can use any primer that you want to use. I just chose to use this one. And I'm also going to apply it underneath her eyelashes because we're going to be applying eyeshadows there too. I'm taking this bright, bright green color and like a lime green. I'm just putting it in her inner corner um, and make it as intense as you want like that. And then I'm going to put it underneath her brow bone as kind of like a highlight. Now I'm taking that dark teal color. This clip got cut off, but I just applied that to the outer part of her eye. Just like that, and not in the crease at all. Well, it kind of is, but. Um, I'm taking the blue color, just any sky blue color will work. And I'm just applying that to her lid. I know it is out of focus, but I promise you it won't stay like that for the rest of the video. Um, but I'm just applying that to her lid in between the green, the lime green and the turquoise green but I'm just touching up both of those other colors on the outside because that blue kind of washed it away and you couldn't see it as well that's what the look looked like with those three colors then I'm taking this angled brush by Sigma and I'm applying this purple color just in wherever there is open skin where there's no eyeshadow already so um, that's this angled brush works perfectly for it because it fits right in between the lines so um, that's really awesome and I'm just going to apply that also on her lower lash line connecting to the green in the inner corner and kind of connecting to the crease from the outside then I'm just blending everything together now I'm taking this blue liquid eyeliner and this is by LA Splash any blue eyeliner could work if you want to use a green eyeliner or a purple eyeliner. Any eyeliner that kind of goes with this look would also look good too. I know these looks don't look exactly the same, but that's just because the distance between her eyebrows and her eyelashes are different on both eyes. Which is nothing wrong, I'm just addressing this before you guys do. Now I'm taking this NYX Roll-On Glitter, but I'm using it on a brush, and I'm patting it over all of the eyeshadow. I'm not putting it straight on because I don't want to put too much on and I'm not using any adhesive because I just want it a light shimmer. Now I'm applying some mascara. Any mascara can work. Even if you want to use fake eyelashes, that would be awesome too. But she already has like really, really long eyelashes so I decided to just apply mascara. And to her top and bottom lashes so you get the doll-like effect. Then for her lips, I'm taking this... OCC Lip Tar. Um, I'll have the 
name of it on the screen right now because I can't think of it. Um, but it's just this purple color and it's really, really pretty. It kind of matches the crease in the eyes. And I like how it looked with this look. So yeah, that was the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you use it out. If you do use it out or you try it out, post a picture um, on my Facebook page. Um, and for hair, you can do some beachy waves, but she already has naturally wavy hair, so she didn't have she doesn't have to do anything. But now she's applying some blue contacts from PinkyParadise.com, and they just like this. They just look like this. Um, they really add to the mermaid effect. Um, you can go to their website. The, it, the link is in the down bar. Sorry, I can't talk today. But yeah, um, I think it really just pulls the whole look together. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and thank you so, so much for watching. Um, yeah, bye. Mwah.